I think we at Virginia Mason probably could be a good medical center without philanthropy, but we couldn't be a great medical center, and there's a huge difference. Walking the halls of the Benaroya Research Institute at Virginia Mason, the Rasmussen name is a reminder of how one can make a difference. Starting with the work and the generous gifts of Elmer and Mary Louise, their family and the Rasmussen Foundation continue their work today, the kind of work that helps make this medical center great. But their story, the story of Elmer and Mary Louise, starts in their home state of Alaska, where the spirit of giving back to the community began many years ago. Well, I was born in Alaska. I was born in Yakutat. My parents were missionaries for the Swedish Covenant Church. That's where I grew up. Elmer Rasmussen grew up, but he never outgrew his beloved home state. Before his death in December of 2000, he was regarded as one of the most powerful and generous men Alaska had ever known. With his mother in 1955, he helped create the Rasmussen Foundation in his father's name. Their mission, to be a catalyst for promoting a better life for the people of Alaska. Mary Louise Milligan grew up on the East Coast. She was working as an assistant principal when the war came, and she had the opportunity to enlist in the Women's Army Corps. She rose quickly through the ranks and was national director of the WAC when she met Elmer, and it changed her life. Well, of course, Elmer was involved in everything, it seems, in Alaska, because he not only uh, was a banker, but he was in many civic organizations. So it was just natural for me to get involved in something. I wasn't going to come back to Alaska and just sit there in a chair. <laughs> for Elmer and Mary Louise, there was no time for sitting. Together with the foundation, they were unified in their efforts to bring better services to the people. It was this bond that brought Elmer and Mary Louise to Virginia Mason. Elmer always had gone to Virginia Mason for his annual physical, so it was just a natural thing for me to go with him. Mary Louise spent 20 years serving on the Virginia Mason Board of Governors and the Foundation Board. Her friend Jackie was right by her side. Mary Louise did and started really fundraising in, in Alaska, and that comes from a real dedicated board member. She saw no nonsense in anything. And she saw to it that, that um, things got done. And that's what happened on the board. We got things done. <laughs> Elmer and Mary Louise had found another way the Rasmussen Foundation could make a difference in Alaskans' lives. Virginia Mason offered specialty care that wasn't available in their home state. Soon, through a generous donation to telemedicine, the possibilities were endless. I like to think of uh, Elmer and Mary Louise as uh, being the leaders of what I call the um, Virginia Mason Alaska connection. Many of these areas where they have attempted to help the people of Alaska, they've of course indirectly helped patients uh, no matter where they're from. One area the Rasmussen's took particular interest in was arthritis research. The Rasmussen Center for Arthritis, Orthopedic, and Musculoskeletal Disease, the Elmer and Mary Louise Rasmussen Laboratory, and the Rasmussen Arthritis and Rheumatic Disease Rapid Research Fund have enabled several advances in the research and treatment of arthritis. All of this made possible by the spirit of philanthropy, a spirit the Rasmussen's understand as well as anyone. Thinking big, I would say, I'd like to see an end to one of the major diseases that we attribute to immunology. I don't think it can happen without funding. No, it can't. Thank you, Mary Louise, my dear friend. Thank you to the family. Thank you to the board of the foundation they are very vital in all of this. Thank you for years of friendship and wonderful support. You have been and continue to be 
uh, a very important and vital part of the Virginia Mason family. And we are most grateful.